Hey everybody, welcome to Outdoor Inspirations. I'm Kevin and we're going to show you how to do some garden bed edging today. This one happens to be from Teco Block. It's called Pietra. And you know this channel is dedicated to helping you guys stay inspired to do more outdoors in your projects. So what better project than making your beds look very crisp and formal with this wonderful bed edging. And uh, just to explain some of the dynamics of the Pietra here, it's a uh, split faced, really rough top on it, semi smooth front face. It has uh, undulations in the uh, front look and has this really neat pin system in the back. So all the edgers um, have this pre cut line and it's got this really neat quick snap in system for stability with a 10 inch spike that goes in the ground. We're going to show you all that and more as we go through this project today. So the sizes of the paver uh, from Pietra, it's four and a half inches tall and about three and an eighth deep. And they come in three different lengths to make it more natural feel as you put them together, they change. So the smallest size is eight and seven eighths, medium is 11 and 13 sixteenths of an inch. And then your longest piece is 14 and three quarter inches long. So it gives you a nice random pattern to mix it up and get your eye to flow past not seeing the same segment size by size by size. Now with Pietra, um, we like to cut all our angles. So as it flows and turns, we're gonna show you how to cut those today at the perfect angle so they butt up seamlessly. Uh, Pietra does come in four colors, champlain gray, chestnut brown, sandalwood, and what we have here is called shale gray. And uh, material cost uh, for Pietra runs around $9 per linear foot for your paver base that goes underneath, your 10 inch spike nails, and of course the Pietra edging itself. So, you know, check out teco slash block.com for your nearest vendor supplier for this product. We'll put it in the description below. All right, everybody. So we're in the front yard and we had installed this Pietra edging a few years ago. And what it's doing is it's formalizing the look of the front walkway system here, as well as being functional by holding back mulch. So it's very purposeful and very elegant. It helps formalize your beds as well as make it a nice statement as you come into a nice entryway as they have here. All right, we got the guys pulling up now. We're going to install more edging in the back and we're going to show you step by step how we install this Teco Block Pietra edging. Check it out. Right now, we have just dug out our trench and we are adding paver stone. So when we add our stones, everything will be level and smooth throughout the whole process. So now we're, um, this is what we're doing now. Um, we're actually expanding the natural area um, so that we'll be able to lay our uh, pallets out and that we'll have a smooth surface as we go along. All right, so what we wanna do is excavate. And I like to excavate down three inches so I can get plenty of aggregate base underneath my paving stones. And no matter if this is concrete along a walkway or if this is grass, you're gonna wanna excavate three inches down behind the surface you're trying to highlight. 
So we got three inches excavated behind. Normally this paver is going to sit about an inch below your product, whether this is grass or concrete or walkway surface. So now we've got three inches excavated. Now we can come in with our paved stone paver base, which is basically just crush and run. And we're going to put in a nice layer. And this is going to act as our foundation. So our paving stones aren't going to keep sinking down into the dirt. So now I just keep adding paver base until I get the desired reveal of my edging stones. And I'm going back about six inches on my base for further stability. And I don't have to overly compact this because this is after all just edging, but I do want a really strong foundation. So there I'm at, right where I'm at, is about an inch down. And I like to snug it with uh, the, you know, a wooden hammer or your rubber mallet. And so the way this system works, it has that nice reveal that uh, Teco Block cuts in. You take the provided tabs, pop that in, and now we have the ability to stabilize each paver with a nice 10 inch spike. So we'll put this back like that. And right before we do that, we want to further prevent weeds. So we'll come right here with a nice heavy weed fabric. Now you put your paver down. Now the, what that does, your weed fabric is going to keep creepy crawly grass and weeds from growing up and migrating into your newly decorated surface. So it's further enhancing your weed protection. This spike just goes right down into the tab system. Boom, stable. It's not going to move on you. It's very secure. You got a nice stable paver base underneath. Last you a lifetime. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. You know, landscape garden edging creates such a nice curb appeal and it's easy to install. And if you're not comfortable installing something like Pietra, just hire a local professional and they'd be happy to do it. Remember to subscribe. We love everybody's support. Comment if you have any other landscape improvements, curb appeal ideas. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, plant some kindness out there. We all need it. Flowers make us feel better. People make us feel better. Plant some kindness. And as always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.